there in this video I'm going to show you example of web view so for this example we will make use of linear layout in our main activity okay let's just change the orientation here so that we can properly arrange our buttons so I'm gonna use vertical layout for linear layout okay now the next thing to do here is to add one button okay just use a wrap content or you can also use match parent if you want okay now before this let's also have one ID okay let's use ID ads button one okay so this is our basic layout and you will see the button here we will add one text here named web view okay so when we click on this web view button then it should take us to let's say another view where we have some website to display okay so for this to work what we will do is we will add one more activity in our current android project so right click on your android app project here let me wait just right click then new and then find activity and then choose blank or empty activity I'm gonna name this activity as web view okay then it will also have one layout named activity underscore web view okay and we can click on finish now there is one important thing to note here is that we are going to make use of internet connection then we have to make that change in our android manifest file okay so here at the top you'll have to add one important permission option that as users permission then android name android permission internet so let's find that out so android permission internet so it will be in here okay so once you use that then you can make use of any action to that button that accesses internet okay otherwise you will not be able to use that redirection to that web page okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my activity main Java file so let's go there okay and as you can see here inside this on create okay I have to add value for my button action so I'm going to do that okay now inside our main activity class first thing to do is to create instance of button okay now next thing we will also set our context okay equals to this now the next thing to do is let's create instance of button okay outside find view by id here i'm gonna use button one then my button will have some action so set on click listener then new on click okay so now you have your rest of the code ready here all you have to do is use intent intent equals to new intent okay and here you pass your context then web view dot class okay and finally 
you start your activity and pass your intent here okay so that will take care of everything all the classes and references included okay now the next thing to do is inside your web view we are going to add our code for what to display inside web view okay so first thing to do here is set private reference for your web view okay so it will ask you for your web views reference okay so I've just created this web view and now the next thing inside your web view I'm gonna change this relative layout to web view I'm gonna remove all of this padding related information and okay now the next thing we will come back to our web view here and we will see if we can add ID here so that we can identify our web view ID and then web view one okay so now we can identify our web view come back to your on click on create method and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply use web view sorry web view and then use instance for that now create the reference web view here then find your web view by id r id and then web view one okay so now it's located let's try and add some action to it okay so let's just make it capital so that it will properly identify as class okay now the next thing get your web view to get settings okay and check from all that get settings then dot set java script enabled and here make it true so that it can go to such pages and then web view dot load URL and here we add our string let's say if I want to go to um, where can I go okay so go to let's say in dot wikipedia dot org okay and that's it so everything you want to do is done here you have added private web view reference within your web view java also in main activity you have your button and button action with intent to move from your current activity to the web view activity and also set your context to this okay so pretty much everything is done you can check your main XMOS design if it properly shows that okay then you have your web view you can check the design what it shows it shows empty view which it should and now we have to get our app running so run your app choose your deployment target for me it's nexus 5x i'm gonna click ok and then it will go through gradle build and this is my emulator view okay as you can see my application is loading and it shows me this web view button here now if I click on it it should take me to another activity and should display that Wikipedia page so let me click on it and it is going through the process underneath 
and here you have your another activity hopefully it will load that Wikipedia page okay as you can see it is taking me to wikipedia.org and there's our web view if you're doing this on your phone then you can do this much effectively than in emulator you can also get the idea of how this scrolling will be controlled and how you can get more options for your web view you can also load your custom HTML instead of loading some web page okay so just have to make few modifications to your webview.java file there and once you do that you can easily able to display custom html so this was our example for webview in android